So yeah, that is, it is terrible. Not in a bad sense, just in the sense that God can instill terror through his mighty power. Say unto God, how terrible art thou in thy works. Through the greatness of thy power shall thine enemies submit themselves unto thee. See, God's not out there every day instilling terror in people. So it's easy for the enemies, for the heathen, for those that, that want to reject God and not believe in God, to be real haughty and lifted up in themselves. But there's going to come a day where they will be faced with the power of Almighty God and that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. And that won't even be a thought for them to not do that. Be when God makes his power known, there, there won't be a question about it. Like right now, people, oh yeah, I'll never do that. I'll never bow down to anybody, any God. I don't care who it is. I hate that God. I'll never. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. I, every single last one of you that thinks that way, I know it's not in this room, but just anywhere in the whole world, people that think that way, you will bow your knee and proclaim Jesus Christ. You will do it. Inevitably, it's going to happen. Every single knee is going to, is going to bow. Why? Because God is all-powerful. The Bible says in verse number four, all the earth shall worship thee. Everybody is going to show their worship and their praise to God Almighty and shall sing unto thee. They shall sing to thy name, Selah. God wants the praise. God enjoys and appreciates and likes the praise unto his name. God deserves the praise to his name. There is nothing or nobody more deserving of praise than the Lord. He deserves it. He commands it. You're often, as we'll see as we go through some of these uh, other psalms, turn to Psalm 95, you're often going to see singing combined with thanksgiving. One of the themes of many psalms is being thankful, just thanking God and praising the Lord through his mercy and his long suffering and just being thankful for a savior, being thankful for God. And why am I bringing all this up? Because when you realize it, when you think about it that way, and you think about how these words, yes, they're the word of God. Yes, they're inspired by the Holy Ghost, but they're also coming out of you know a human being as well whether it be david or asaph or any anybody who's the human instrument these are songs coming from those people as well and they have a lot of meaning and the songs that we sing should have a lot of meaning and we ought to be singing them with all of our might unto the lord and and taking that time aside to do so and not just well it's just a part of our service we're just going to do this and just have a, a real lame type of singing.